Mula, you're on. Yeah. So the four agreements uh, in the book, it is page 15. Page 28. 28 of the PDF. All of humanity is searching for truth, justice and beauty. We are on an eternal search for the truth because we only believe in the lies we have stored in our mind. We are searching for justice because in the belief system we have, there is no justice. We search for beauty because it doesn't matter how beautiful a person is. We don't believe that person has beauty. We keep searching and searching when everything is already within us. There is no truth to find. Wherever we turn our heads, all we see is the truth. But with the agreements and beliefs we have stored in our mind, we have no eyes for this truth. Okay, so it says over here, we are on an eternal search for the truth because we only believe in the lies we have stored in our minds. So there are when we are looking at from the perspective of zero limits, Again and again, I'm repeating, there are three places where we can operate from. The three places are we can operate from memory, we can operate from inspiration, and we can operate from wisdom. Now, most of the time we are operating within our belief systems, the paradigms and, uh, uh, and, and the rules that we have created for ourselves to live in. Those are our belief systems. Okay. And we are, our perception is clouded or is colored by the belief systems that we are carrying. Now, we are actually more, much more than our what our belief systems are. Like for example, in the Monroe process, we talk about the paradigm that we are more than our physical body. Incidentally, that's the only dogma that we have in the Monroe Institute. We don't have any other dogma over there. So we ask you to just jump your belief system to, to accept that we are more than your, you are more than your physical body. Generally speaking, we totally equate ourselves only with the physical body and the physical things that we see around us. But there's a lot more going around. And over here, he says we are searching and searching when everything is already within us. So we are a part of the the microcosm is a part of the macrocosm, and the macrocosm is a part of the microcosm. So everything is connected to everything else. That saying. That if a butterfly flutters its wings in Brazil, it affects the entire universe is actually a fact when we go into quantum physics and quantum mechanics. Okay, so everything is within us. The thing is that because we don't look, we do not find. Now they did, did an experiment. I think it's in the book uh, Cosmic Universe where they did an experiment. They took the DNA of a person and they started when the person was stressed and they had equipment attached to the Petri dish in which that DNA sample was there, the DNA sample also showed stress. Then what they did was they put that person in another room and the DNA sample was in the lab. When they stressed the guy out, again the DNA samples showed up the stress. They put him in another building, it still showed up. They put him in another street, it still showed up. They transferred him to another city, it still showed up. They transferred him across the world, okay, and it still showed up. So we are all interrelated and connected. The only thing is whether the connection happens. Once you are connected to something, however far you may go, the relationship still remains to a certain extent. So we are searching for stuff outside us, but actually all the stuff is inside us. When we make that connection, then the download starts to happen and we shift from operating from memory to inspiration and then subsequently to wisdom once we become self-realized. We keep searching and searching when everything is already within us. There is no truth to find. Wherever we turn our heads, all we see is the truth. But with the agreements and beliefs we have stored in our mind, we have no eyes for this truth. 
we don't see the truth because we are blind what blinds us are all those false beliefs we have in our mind we have the need to be right and to make others wrong but now this is also very important over here okay so what happens is that we have a certain construct we have a certain so mental attitude so books so she's so if you taking something like this to upar aa jayega na one second yeah, no, it will be very crowded too okay so now what happens is that our perspective is already always colored by our belief system and what we believe in as far as we are concerned is correct and we don't want like to accept anyone else's point of view but when you start moving towards self realization when you start moving towards awakening when you start increasing your awareness quotient you start looking at the other person's perspective also but when we are close minded we will not look at the other person's perspective at all so we are always out to prove the other person wrong okay and this is the distinction also i find between tark and kutar so kutar is that you want to make the person wrong but tark is to understand so doing tark is never a problem okay even in the in the vedanta and the gita classes he is talking about one of the qualities of a teacher is that he is always willing to listen to and answer questions and one of the qualities of the student is to ask the pertinent question now you are not a student if you are not asking the pertinent question and you are not a teacher if you are not answering any pertinent question the answer may be i don't know that's absolutely acceptable but if you are not willing to answer a question then it becomes a problem so when we are in tark we are not out to prove the other person wrong we are out to understand the process we trust what we believe and our beliefs set us up for suffering it is as if we live in the middle of a fog that doesn't let us see any further than our own nose we live in a fog that is not even real the fog is a dream your personal dream of life what you believe all the concepts you have about you about what you are all the agreements you have made with others with yourself and even with god okay so again the belief system is basically the agreements that you have made and these agreements are made from childhood okay so don't do this do this this is wrong we are built in the belief system is created over a period of time and the only way to get out of the belief system is when you start expanding your awareness your ability to perceive your ability to experience so the only way you can transfer from memory to inspiration or to wisdom is through knowledge number 1 and through experience and when you have knowledge and experience then it becomes wisdom okay your whole mind is a fog which the to tool text called amitote your mind is a dream where a thousand people talk at the same time and nobody understands each other this is the condition of the human mind a big mitote and with that big mitote you cannot see what you really are in india they call the mitote maya which means illusion it is the personality's notion of i am everything you believe about yourself and the world all the concepts and programming you have in your mind are all the mitote we cannot see who we truly are we cannot see that we are not free okay just one second now shivangla this dripping i have to take care of just one second instead of 07a142 whatever okay i had a question this yeah, list Sheetal. which you have said the list which you have said yeah. now that is going to be a changing thing right it's not going to be static at any point of time not at all so how can 
definitely uh, you have to like for example you said you wanted to do this for 60 i mean this thing which you have done for 60 days but uh, how do you get uh, to it and start working on it because everything is keeping on changing all the time all the time are so, karo to bhaiya ek bar to karo <laughs> fir dekho okay you see i'll tell you something personally speaking what has happened is nowadays i really don't care about stuff that i can't do anything about mm. it has become right. a way of life for me now if i can't do something about something i step out and i stop thinking about it why because it's on my a list right i'm not yes. i'm not going to waste energy on something that i can't do anything about right okay you understand so already i've yeah. generated a lot of power for myself correct are you getting what i'm saying yes now i know that i have a to do list that i mm. need to do certain things but i have right. i am i am attempting to jack into the flow you understand so i am attempting to jack into inspiration mm. so every morning i get up mm. and i wait for the thought to come in my head that today what is the first thing that i need to do from my b list mm. okay mm. you understand and i technically focus on it and as i am going through life personally speaking i am finding i am doing every day what i want to do there are very okay. few things left which i have to do are you okay do you get what yeah, i am saying i got it yes yes Now, today yes. i want to do this right i am speaking to right. you all i want to do it yeah. it's not something that i have to do i can shut it down tomorrow and there is no yeah. attachment to it correct that's right yes you get that got so e- yes, even I though it. i'm doing it day in and day out i'm feeling empowered by it i'm not getting depleted by it at all correct yeah and i think that's how it should be correct exactly right. so if we yeah. can shift our entire thinking process to this kind of a state of consciousness then what is going to happen is that we'll be operating out of power right we'll not be operating out of a depleting state of consciousness correct that's right yes okay Yeah, and there's one more thing you said. Something called nag. What is that? Energy. It was energy. Nag. When somebody thinks bad bad about uh, someone, it goes. Na- something. Some word you used. I don't remember. What that. happens when with somebody does black magic or somebody thinks bad so, about? What goes? You said. So the power goes. You know. So there. Okay. It, is that a word? It's a word nazar, word? nazar, 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 nazar. nazar okay okay so yeah. i thought it was some english so you know in all cultures you have this this thing of giving jhada yeah yeah correct in all correct. cultures it's yeah. there so what is that yeah, okay. it is giving jhada now in biofield tuning what are we doing it's like a jhada but it is more specific okay. we are really yeah. becoming very very precise and specific in doing what we are doing pranic healing right. what is it is jhada so, oh. if you see okay. reiki it's jhada you are putting energy in right yes correct so it's jhada and i what do i call uh, uh, going into altered states of consciousness with the monro process i keep saying it's like jhadu maroing you jhadu okay <laughs> all right got it are you yes so i keep yeah, saying I that it, right it's like jhadu marna so what is happening yeah. you're cleaning yourself up basically yeah, that's correct. the game right got okay. it thank you yeah ha renu ji भैया राम राम भैया भैया आई हैव आस्क अ नंबर ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स टू जॉइन एंड दे वर वेरी एक्साइटेड टू मोस्ट वेलकम मोस्ट वेलकम सो व्हाट व्हाट डू दे नीड टू डू नाउ डू दे नीड टू डू आई सेंड देम दैट अवेयरनेस दैट सी डोंट डू दैट बिकॉज़ दे विल गेट कंफ्यूज्ड फर्स्ट यू सेंड देम बेसिकली द वर्चुअल ग्रुप लिंक यू हैव द वर्चुअल ग्रुप लिंक Uh, that's the one which is virtual uh, three. Yeah, virtual one, two, and three. Either one of the groups they can join. So There I is little space left in that. three, so let them so join three. Send... Yeah, okay. so let I them join send... that group, and then mm-hmm. if they want to join the club, subsequently they can join the clubs. Yeah, but otherwise I just um, forward that uh, virtual yeah. three. Yeah, so for the month of June, the virtual group will get the post every day. and as okay. we shift into the app etc then the clubs will start working so then okay. you will you will have get a separate login id etc for the particular meeting that you are registered for okay okay right. so all that will start happening but for june uh, it's open to all and open to everyone 
and bhaiya uh, pranayam also we have to uh, pranayam is the same link same awareness link that you are just saying but yeah. do we have to give an acceptance for that also if yeah so now if you it? get into the pranayam group we know for that okay you are in the pranayam group and what happens is okay. that okay. not like now there are 700 people in all the groups right but prana hardly yeah. 50 60 people are there now suppose there's a shift in timing or for one day the program will not take place then we'll post it only on the pranayam group so if you intend to join the pranayam then please yeah. join the pranayam group Okay, right. If you all are and not intending to join, then it really doesn't matter. Uh, no, no, I am coming for it now. Yeah. So I said I must. Then do I need to join the group? Correct. So now, like, let's say he posts something or he sends a message, then we will post it in the pranayam group. We are not going to disturb the entire group. Okay. Right. Okay. So if you are intending to come for pranayam, like he has given a full mm -hmm. list of the way that you need to do all the. Uh, uh, all the uh, uh, i mean the pranayam different kinds of pranayam okay so now right. that list will not go to everyone it will only go to the pranayam list okay right thank you bhaiya yeah. thank you anyone else anything thank you okay thank you thank you thank you renu okay ram 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 see you all for meditation 345 